Mine is everyone's faults and annoying traits. No one is perfect. No one is perfect for you. What matters most is you are both willing to give each other what you've got to make this relationship work. Do you treat each other with respect, get along the majority of the time, and have the same values and life views? If so, you have a really good chance of making it work. How to turn being friends with benefits into a real relationship. It is possible to turn a friends with benefits affair into a serious relationship, but it is unlikely. People who are in a friends with benefits relationship are generally in that sort of relationship because they do not want a commitment. So they agree to become friends with benefits in order to have some fun with someone who is willing to meet their needs with no strings attached until the fun wears off or a better offer comes along. It is the perfect scenario of having your cake and eating it too. The best advice is just ask now about where your relationship is headed. Your partner will most likely be honest and tell you how he or she feels. Find a reason to end it and bail both of which save you a lot of time and energy. How to convince him to meet your parents? A lot of guys are nervous to meet parents, and it in turn can be very stressful for them. He may fear that your parents will make a quick judgment of him and decide they don't want him dating their baby. Other guys feel that meeting the parents forces the relationship to a new level of commitment. Be sure to also warn your parents that he's nervous about the meeting, and to keep it short and casual. If your guy still refuses to meet your folks, then you need to really consider calling it quits. He obviously doesn't respect your wishes or take your relationship as seriously as you do. When is it a good time to move in together? Once you've been dating for a while and finally said those three little words, you begin to wonder whether or not it is time to take your relationship to that next level, sharing a home. However, it is important to make sure that you're both ready for this major step or you could be headed for a relationship doom. Competition is a whole new chapter. Now you're in the zone of compromise and communication. Gone is the bloom from the rose and you will see each other's worst. Now enter that grumpy, rumpled guy who just woke up and is stomping around the apartment, slamming cabinet doors, demanding to know what you did with coffee. And the tired woman who just spent eight hours on her feet is no longer feeling frisky and flirty. Make sure that you are moving in together because you both genuinely want to spend more time together and move forward in your relationship. Don't make this decision in haste to save money on rent or the prospect of having the bills. How to get out of the friend zone. So you've made a few miscalculations, missed your target, and landed in the friend zone. Don't panic. There's a way out. Start dating other people. Wait until the time is right to ask her advice about a situation with the new girl you are dating. It will most likely catch her off guard because she didn't even know you were dating and you kept a secret from her. Women love the mystery. Also, stop being so available. When she calls, let it go to your voicemail. This will create a challenge for her to get your attention. Don't stop answering altogether. Just not right away. Don't tell her what you're go doing to miss the call. Just say, sorry, I was doing something. What's up? Start dressing better. Change your hairstyle. Women know this is a sign that a man is interested in a woman. If she thinks you're dressing up for another girl. It will drive her crazy. Plus, she will start to look at you as a dateable guy instead of a friend. Why are men afraid of commitment? Men, more so than women, treasure their freedom. Most men think that to commit to a relationship means having to check with someone before they can go out, buy something, etc. This loss of independence hits a man at his core. Other men worry about the financial ramifications that come with a long-term committed relationship. What was once my money is now our money. What was once her debt is now our debt. That can be completely overwhelming. Furthermore, men are afraid of only having sex with one person forever. Variety is the spice of life, right? 
This is why men are so frightened to give up their sexual variety and commit to their spouses. How to make him, her, commit. Looking for a few ways to encourage your partner to commit, or at least have the where are we and where are we headed talk, try these. Plan a trip without him. When he sees you packing your skimpy bikini for a week at the beach with your friends, it will hit hard. At first he may be excited that he gets to enjoy a week as a single man. Then it will sink in that you get to enjoy your week as a single woman in a bikini with other single girls. Start acting as though you are already in a committed relationship. Start washing his clothes or call and ask him to pick up a few things from the store on the way home. Easing into the committed status will make him realize that it's not as scary as he thought it would be.